All for Romance is a podcast featuring five friends thirsty for D20. Hello and welcome to Roll for Romance. I'm your DM Emily and with me today I have four fabulous friends. Four flirty friends. Ooh. I should be, why didn't I do that from the very beginning of this stupid podcast? Oh my God. Oh my God. Okay, <laughs> write it down so we don't, uh, it's from now on. I have to go f- back in every episode. <laughs> now we're five flirty friends. Today we were just talking about uh, romance tropes. So just pick a romance trope that you hate and tell us about it. Starting with Sarah. Okay. I hate the billionaire romance trope. Hate billionaires. I just hate billionaire romance trope. Just hate it. Hate it? What if it ends with them being eaten? If it ends with them being eaten, I think we are no longer in the romance. (laughs) romance (laughs) And I would love it. (laughs) What if it's a like werewolf that ends up forced into a marriage with a billionaire she eats him and learns to love herself. Wow. Oh, I need you to write that book. <laughs> <laughs> yes. And then it takes all his money, but then she's the billionaire. So then, then she's the sequel. The yeah. In the sequel, the- she needs to find romance, but she also gets eaten. Yeah. And the cycle never ends. Every okay. Cycle never ends. Uh, what about you, Des? A uh, trope that you hate? Um, oh, I hate the bully. Your bully changed, and suddenly he's great. I'm just assuming it's a dude in this scenario. It could be a girl. Could be a girl. I agree. She was like the hot girl that's like. You know, mm. though, I'm thinking about like this, yeah. and I would I definitely, I would definitely me. read like a sapphic romance that was the I, hot okay. girl that bully that, that you find later in life, and then you're like you get back together. But especially if it's some dude, she's, fuck off, you know, some dude, fuck off. But like, if it was like a girl, and she's like, there's a lot of pressures to be mm-hmm. a teenage girl and be popular. I feel like if she realized her wrongs and was like, God, I was such a bitch in yeah. high school. I'm so sorry. And now she's super cool. That I could read. Th- I'd read that. Yeah. So Amazing. straight bully. Out. No. I agree. 100%. What about you, Lauren? What do you hate? Mafia romance. Oh, no. that's a, oh, no. Oh, you're going to. Uh, no, I'm just kidding. I don't think anyone <laughs> in our audience really cares. Um, <laughs> mafia romance. Why? Don't piss off our mafia. Don't <laughs> piss off the mafia, Lauren. <laughs> I'm sorry. I mean, I love mafia romance. It's so great. I, I wish know. I could marry into a mafia family. <laughs> I, think, I think The Sopranos just ruined sure. all mafia for oh, me. Oh, good, yeah. Especially that one scene where, like, I mean, it's not spoilers at this point, but like he's having sex of her and he has like a loaded gun pointed to her head oh, and it's God, like, yeah. <laughs> come on. Yeah. There's a lot of toxic male stuff. It's Yeah. I think that's mostly what it is. Like the mm-hmm. toxic masculinity. Yeah. And it's just so prevalent in my I just parents. always remember the episode where they're talking about like they can't go down on a girl because it makes them gay. What? That Which was in an episode. Wouldn't that make you like ultra into ladies? <laughs> no. Nope. As marrying, know, marrying or loving a woman is gay. Oh, gay men super love gay. to eat out vaginas. <laughs> yeah, that's a fact. That is their favorite. <laughs> their favorite. <laughs> Straight men are so fucking confused. They are confused. Oh, Jesus. That is so sad. Yeah. It is very sad. Okay, moving on, Holly. What do you hate? I used to be all about billionaire alpha ex military firefighter werewolf. Yes. Yeah. And I think I burned myself out. That happens. Because if I yeah. see the word alpha, if I see the word billionaire, if I see the word werewolf, if I see the words ex military, if I see the words bully, I'm like, fuck. All of y'all. Yeah. No, thank you. Yeah. I think I just got burned out. That's fair. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, I didn't think of what I hate. Yeah. I got to say that I agree with you about the werewolf thing, too. If it's like Omegaverse, I'm like hard pass. Yeah. That's for somebody yeah. else. People. Lo- yeah. Um, just, it's fun if you like yeah. that. Yeah. Oh, just no, no. Yeah. yeah. You got, you just. Yeah. You can definitely get that if you read too many in a certain genre. Well, I liked werewolves before it became this whole Omegaverse. Yeah. 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 Maybe if it's weird. Not. It's like I just want a regular werewolf right. that doesn't even <laughs> know about the Omegaverse. <laughs> Doesn't not even, or he's read about the Omegaverse and he's like, this is nonsense. Yeah. <laughs> I hate that they portray my kind yes. this way. Um, mm-hmm. That would okay. be great. I'd read that. Yeah. <laughs> my, one of my very least favorite tropes is accidental pregnancy. Uh, oh, I yeah. Cannot, oh. I just cannot. Oh. I can't. 
Get I don't it out really know about here. pregnancy in a book anyway. Mm. The thing Get is, I usually hate pregnancy in the books. Uh, in books, I love Ice Planet Paparians. That's like the whole point is they get pregnant. But it for some reason, that's the only thing where I'm like, it's okay. Because everybody knows that they're going to get pregnant. There's no mm-hmm. like surprise baby. Right. There's surprise no, babies yeah. are oh, a God, real boner no. killer. No. <laughs> Get it out of here. Anyway, let's move on to the actual podcast. You know, I would go for a surprise baby in, we were talking about earlier, if it was a forced marriage with a really cool wizard. Whoa. <laughs> I don't know. Whoa. Somehow I think it would work. Well, and maybe even a surprise baby if, like, your dream was to always have a baby and then you thought that you couldn't have a baby and then, oh, like, yeah. if that happened, that yeah. would be sweet. Especially if it was with a cool wizard. With a cool wizard, for sure. Uh, then we would 100%. Yes, I don't think I could deal with a magic baby. Enhanced wizard sperm. I'm tired. <laughs> I'm too tired for that. Well, I just met some incredible folks who were sent to me from the deepest depths of the hells. Bless, bless our beloved dark overlords. They came here to help me with my sonship. And boy, that nightmare is sure trying, but I love him. I love him. He's my son. He's my beautiful, precious baby boy. But he wanted to be part of that beauty competition. And you know what? They helped him achieve his dreams. Sure, he didn't win. Sure, he did murder the one that won. But you know what? He won in my heart because he put himself out there and he shined up on that stage and he made his dad proud. Thousand gold, very well spent. Last time, a whole lot of nonsense <laughs> happened. But most importantly, we need to remember that Milice is in jail and the rest of you have done a bounty. Not maybe not a bounty. Well, I guess it kind of was a bounty for killing a wizard, accidental fun, bonus wizard murder. <laughs> um, plus, Wait, how much helped, money did we make? You guys have uh, 2,000 gold now. And then also helping the nightmare with the horse beauty pageant. We have finished that. We're going Did to. Did I get any gold? No, you're in jail. <laughs> that was for your bail money. The thousand of that gold is to bail you out. Um, so which we are going to go to right now. You have arrived at the jail and you have come to bail out Miele's. I would like to think that during my time there, I convinced the guards to get me a lot of stuff for Ma- myself. Make a persuasion check. <laughs> It's important what to know if stuff? you got your serums or not. Let's see. Soak Let's sheets see. for his cot. You're literally there for like maybe 24 hours. <laughs> He's already <laughs> moved 16. In. Ooh. 16? Okay. What were you trying to get him to give you? Like thousand or not. What's the high? A very high thread count sheets, my comforter, uh, my skin serums, a nice mirror. Okay. They're definitely not going to give you the mirror because you could turn that into a weapon. Yeah. Um, oh. Also, probably not the silk sheets. Um, they will give you your serums with a 16. Okay. That's fine. And I'm maybe slack. like a nicer pillow. Oh. So you don't get like, like, like so that I don't you don't mess get up crease my hair. marks on yeah. your face yeah. and mess up your we hair. Can't have crease marks. That's very sweet. And you somewhat befriend the guy who is the guard whose name is uh, Bobbert. Bobbert. <laughs> <laughs> While we're so, getting him out, yeah, I'm going to be like him. lecturing Bobbert about how cash bail is like completely unfair. I'm trying to radicalize Bobbert. Make a persuasion check <laughs> for Bobbert. <laughs> I got an 18. Ooh. The system is corrupt. The system is totally corrupt and it favors the rich. It means that rich people can just pay their way out back into the streets. Listen, I see that every day. You're preaching to the choir. It's the, but I, we live in a capitalistic society and I got to pay the bills. I got five kids to feed. I I don't love that I have to work here, but it's a steady job and I'm with you, but I don't think I'm the person that you need to be convinced. Well, who do I need to convince, Bobbert? (laughs) Bobbert's going to think. Bobbert's going to (laughs) think. He has to convince Greg. Bobbert got it too, so... Maybe my boss. I don't know. I don't know the names of any of the people that are higher up. You could go to City Hall, maybe. Go to the, you could go to the royalty. Go to the, go straight to the top. I could go straight to the top. Thank you, Bobbert. You're welcome. Here's your friend, (laughs) Melees. He does a a comrade (laughs) salute. I don't know what that would be. That's right. You've inducted Bobbert into your 
<laughs> right, radicalized. Robert, Robert Down Society. has been radicalized. Yeah. <laughs> he does. Robert has been radicalized. <laughs> when you have you to call on people later. for the revolution, you can, you, can, you can count on Bobbert. <laughs> I'm going to write that down in my backgrounds. Hilrana would be interested in helping you maybe set up a fund to help people get bailed out of jail oh. because uh, she likes that she can both help people and be chaotic and mess stuff up at the same time. Yeah, let's mess stuff up, especially <laughs> the system. Yeah. Love it. <laughs> Love so it. So Bobbert leads you out. Well, it was it was nice, Mila. Nice meeting you. Thanks, Bobbert. I really hope that you weren't you're not a murderer and I won't, you know. <laughs> Me too. See you hanged after your trial. Yeah, that'd be a bummer. That would be such a bummer. Thank you for the serum recommendations too. You're welcome. Just remember you need to use the toner before the moisturizer. You should write this down. He, yes, for he sure. takes out a pen and starts writing it on his hand. Yeah, he'll give you more tips, and then he'll give you. A, he'll be like, "Hug it out." Uh, <laughs> no I'm hard not, feelings, I'm, Bob. Right? I'm really not supposed to make a protection check for the hug. Give me a hug. Uh, fourteen. Okay, just this once. Uh, <laughs> I'll give you a big in. hug. Oh, uh, big hug. Okay. I love now it. get out of here, you rascal. Oh, I don't want to see you back. He like hits again. me on the butt. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> His boss sees that. And like, Bobber, we're going to have to talk. <laughs> well, then he should say, say, don't get him. <laughs> <laughs> have you considered how unfair the cash bail system is? Make a persuasion check. <laughs> Wait, who are you? Bobbert's boss. Uh, uh, what's his I don't name? know. Her name is Tasha. Bossbert. <laughs> Tasha Bossbert. <laughs> Tasha Bossbert. Uh, yeah, I got an eight. <laughs> <laughs> She's not having it. But. Just please get out of here. So you okay. you can write in your notebook. Did not radicalize Tasha okay. Bossbert. <laughs> All right, so you are bailed out. You're still going to have a trial at some point, Miles, for two your trials. Yeah, I'm but keep the them thing straight. is, they're still investigating, so they could find evidence that you know exonerates you, and then you wouldn't have to necessarily be put That's on trial. Fair. I did while I was in jail. I did prepare new spells. Hell yeah! One of which was scrying. I just need a crystal ball, a silver mirror. That's why I wanted the mirror, maybe. Oh. Or a fount of holy water. And then we can try to find my All the twin. water you touch well, is holy water, baby. It's not really. I definitely have a crystal ball. <laughs> That's definitely not how it works. Perfect. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Well, awesome. So you are free now. Well, you can't leave the city. All right. You're back home. Hilrana, you wanted to summon some stuff. I'm assuming Miles is going to want to scry. What else? Is, or is anybody else going to do something when you return home, I, I think that I want to see what happens with the scrying. Okay. And I'm interested in that. Okay, cool. So we'll do that. We'll have uh, Hilrata summon her animal friends, and then we'll do scry as a, as all as buddies, scry buddies, scry buddies. Okay. So how do you do this, Hilrata? I'm assuming I will have to cast speak with animals, and I'm gonna go out in the yard and Disney princess style. I'm gonna be like, oh. oh, oh. And then, like, some animals will come. Okay, we'll make a performance <laughs> check. That's 100% how it works. Yes. And it does, though. <laughs> yeah. A 15. Oh, that's pretty good. Hilrana has a nice singing voice today. You get some crows. Ah, nice. Um, uh, some street crabs come scuttling crabs. up. Chadley comes, but Chadley's kind of been hanging out with you anyway. I think that's what you got. You got some ravens and some street crabs. Those are both great. Both great. I like that they're specifically street crabs. Well, they're an infestation of the of the city. Yeah. Now, are you calling them street crabs because they were simply on that street, or are they like tough gang? They're the both. gang crabs. Okay. Yeah, they've been hardened by city living. These crabs in particular look pretty tough. Like their shells are black, so it looks like they're in leather jackets. Yeah. Whoa. Yeah, definitely. <laughs> nice. They've had like symbols <laughs> carved yeah. into the shells. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah, these crabs are tough. But they love singing. One of them is uh, the the the, the, cl- the crab from the races that has oh, the razor yeah. blades attached nice. to his claws. Razor crab. All right, so I'm gonna tell them. I'm gonna bring Miles out and be like, "Okay, I need you to look for another man who looks almost exactly like this, but not this guy. Like, don't get. I don't want you coming back here saying you saw him when you really just saw this guy. 
You want us to take him out? You might have to like wear something so that they know it's you. Uh, no, we just want to. We want. I just want to know where he is. What's in it for us? Uh, what do you want? Right now, you're talking to the crabs. You have to talk to the the raven separately. What do you want, crabs? What do we want? What do we want? What do we want? A house. Okay. Make a. <laughs> I don't know if that's true. Or could you give them a house? Sure. I'll build okay, a, then persuasion. Build them a house if I have to. I'll figure, I'll figure it out when we get We're tired to of being on the streets. I don't blame you. It's rough tomorrow. on the streets. I got a 17. Okay. We'll find him. If he's out there, we'll find him. We'll only cut him up a little bit. Cut him up a lot of bit. Those crabs are quite violent, says the one of the ravens. What? What do you ravens want? Some shiny things would be good. Oh, I'm, we, I will get you all the shiny things. Wonderful. I don't believe that I can cut them up with razor. I don't have razor blades attached to my wings, but I could... Um, we could get you some if you want. If you want, but... I'd no, rather do it peacefully. I mean, I really just want to know where he is. I know where he is. Well, but you don't necessarily need to interact. Okay. We will do our best. I know that you crows are good at remembering things. And, or ravens. Sorry. I'm, I'm not, so sorry. I'm, I didn't mean to call you a, cr- a crow. I'm not trying to be rude, but... They look around. The crabs aren't the most intelligent. So well, I believe they will do a much better job. Maybe don't worry about that house. Hey, what are you talking about? We're really smart. I think you both have and, your, <laughs> your qualities. Let's see if they break out into a fight. Oh, no. <laughs> Well, I mean, in the crab's defense, that was super It was rude. really rude. It was yeah, really rude. It was. Fortunately, no fight breaks out. Oh, gosh. Thank God. Um, but they, they glare at each yeah, other, and there so might be a turf war. You guys, Sweet. you need to work as a team, or it's not going to work out. Teamwork makes the dream work. Make a persuasion check. <laughs> a 19. Okay. Yeah, you, like, you rhymed, so. I don't like it, but I respect it. As do I. I'm sorry for my rude words. <laughs> And they go off. You have sent them off. They will report back if they find anyone that looks like Melees. I will roll for them in a little bit, but let's go to scrying. Is everyone wanting to come to this? Oh, yeah. Yeah. All right. We will be in the middle of the uh, fighting rink. All the lights are off. There's some candles. There's the crystal ball in the center. Are they scented candles? Yes. What uh, <laughs> rocks. <laughs> Ooh, rocks. 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 Manly. Rocks. Manly. Rock scent. It's called manly rock sweat. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> There's one called like pure grit. Ooh, I like that. Alpha stone. Alpha stone. <laughs> Alpha stone. <laughs> These are some good <laughs> candle names. <laughs> You're looking at the candle labels while Melee's prepares. All right, so he has to make a wisdom saving throw, but you're concentrating, you're trying to find Dominus Patatus. Go yes. to your scry space. And I'm concentrating really hard on letting them know that it's it looks like me, but it's not me, so don't just find me. Because I know yes. where I am. Yeah, That's very well, true. I, I know where I am. Okay, I know so. where I am in space and time. So yeah, he's going to roll. As you close your eyes and you focus on finding... Dominus Patatus, where is he? Where is he? Your, you feel like your vision is sucked from your body and pulled through darkness, and then it opens up, and you can feel like you're looking through like a little orb or sensor in the space. And currently, well, you see Dominus Patatus, and he is sitting, writing in a very worn, leather-bound notebook at a desk. And he's hunched over, and he's writing feverishly, and you can't see a lot of his surroundings because of just the, you can see around 10 feet around him, but he is in a, looks like a bedroom. There are lots of silken drapes and very sumptuous fabrics in like reds and jewel tones, some scented candles, some body oils on the counter. Obviously you pick those up immediately. Yeah. Are they are they good ones? Oh, let's find out. <laughs> I like forget They're, to zoom in on him, and I'm just yeah, like, what, kind what of brand body? is that? <laughs> what's he using? What's his regimen? Yeah. Yeah. What's he working with? 
They're good. I, you don't think they're as good as yours, though. Hmm. No, because he's like Discount Melees. Yeah, discount right. Melees. He also does look a little bit like Discount Melees. If you take some time to observe him, he's not really doing anything but writing in this notebook. And But if you, you turn to look into his face, he looks like he hasn't slept in a couple days. So he has dark circles under his eyes. His hair is longer than yours and much more disheveled. He sounds hot. He has longer... <laughs> I don't know. Do you have a beard, Miles? Yes. Okay. So his facial hair just isn't as well groomed as yours is. He looks a little more swole than you, though. His <gasps> skin looks tougher, like it's been more worn by the sun and through hard labor, but uh, and not as so much pampering. Um, yeah, but he looks. Look, I guess. He's much. He's more muscular than you. Mm. Oh my God. Oh, He's no. Miles is refu- will refuse to clock that. <laughs> no, no, yeah. no, no. no. Just really really not. Not. <laughs> he rejects that reality. Can I? Can I see what he's writing? Yeah, sure. If you look down at the writing; it is scrawlings of a madman kind of thing. Yeah. Just oh. all kinds of weird, like f- broken words, and it's all written in celestial. Um, which you can read, so that's fine. It um, says all work and no play. All work, no play. All work, no play. Just over and over again. Gains. Gains, gains, gains. gains. Not enough gains. Um, and then also has in there some, make I, just make a perception check for me. Well, I got a one, so. Oh, shit. You're looking, and you try to see him writing about the gains, and like, you see, read something about gotta go on a cleanse, and then... You just can't stop looking at his damn muscled forearm and how like veiny and shredded oh, it is. And I was paper. like biceps bulge as he's as he's frantically writing, and you don't want to acknowledge the reality that he is. No, 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 no! He <laughs> Mealy's is screaming. <laughs> oh God, Mealy! Oh my God, what's going on? I don't know. It's hideous. <laughs> what if the spell went wrong? What if he's having some dark vision of the far realm? Oh my lord. Can we see what he's seeing or can only he no, see No, only it? Neelice could see it. So do you stay for the full 10 minutes or do you just get out of there after the madness of looking at his muscle madness? Muscle, muscle madness. <laughs> uh, <laughs> I'll stay for the full 10 minutes, but I mean, he will get bored. He'll be like, all right, well. He'll just start looking around <laughs> the room. trying to. He doesn't sure, really yeah, it. you can look around the room. It's... A nice looking bed. It's, the room itself is a very small bedroom. There is a window, but the curtains have been pulled shut with these beautiful velvety drapes. Is there a lot of, of personal effects in there? Or does it look like he just kind of lives there or rents it? Or You don't see any personal effects that would make you think that they're necessarily his other than maybe the serums. Okay. You see a stack of clothes. You see a sword kind of shoved up against one wall in its scabbard and um, some armor tossed to the side, but not like he's, this is his finely crafted home. I'm going to try to measure his biceps with my hands. I'm going to make faces at him. Sure. I'm just, (laughs) I'm trying to stay for the full 10 minutes in case something happens, but it is very boring. I'll see. No. Okay. That's all that happens. I'll come out of it, and I'll, I'm will i fevered and sweating, and I'm very upset. Oh, my God, Neelis, what happened? It's horrible. <gasps> it's horrible, awful. Oh, no. Oh, no. <sighs> what did you see? Just, he's in, he's, I mean, he looks exactly, his mus- he looks exactly like me, y'all, and that was disconcerting. His muscles are exactly the same size. Uh, not a lot of difference there. Uh, he does use really poor serums. Me like, like, where is he? Oh, uh, I don't know. He's in a ha- he's in a room. It seems like a nice room. I mean, not uh, you know, for for someone who's not used to the good things in life. Maybe mm-hmm. he might be impressed by something like that. A uh, really nice curtains, velvet, uh, or some kind of fake velvet, probably. Uh, <laughs> Do you think it could be one of the local inns? Yeah, probably. I'd imagine so. Of the, did you notice anything out the window? Any of the furnishings? Make um, an intelligence check for me, Neelys. 
So I was thinking if you notice like curtains, at least we can narrow it down to which ends have these curtains. Yeah. yeah oh, yeah, true. Definitely okay. That, yeah. Ugh, got a five. Okay. Yeah. You give the description of like very nice fabrics, thick velvet drapes that are covering the windows. Small room. Small room. Yes. Really small. Small. Yeah. Much smaller than your bedroom. Looks like. Much smaller than like, my You would guess. <laughs> it almost seemed like. A very small in in room or like a guest bedroom, Ooh. you know. Yeah, that's true. It could be a guest bedroom. Yeah. yeah, I'm wondering if somebody brought him here to try and have a plot against you, Miles. Oh, what did I do? Lord. I don't know, but there, you know, haters are gonna hate. Haters and are gonna hate. Yeah. Maybe this could be some other noble's room somewhere. Do we know the color of the curtains? Like a crimsony red color. It's better than nothing. Okay. Uh, I did describe every detail of the serums. Maybe we could go to a shop and ask if anyone's <gasps> yeah. bought those serums recently. Because I am sure if he's anything like you, he would need to restock because he's going to go through them quickly. Yes. That's a good idea. That's a good idea. Or if he has a subscription like service. How do you get yours? I buy from a local retailer do they do you know that do they sell <laughs> do they sell those same ones that he had uh they do i'm just make the executive do they <laughs> do they i feel like the, at this point i'm making my own serums because i'm poor yeah so but you recognize the brand though you just you've you reused the bottles of your fancy <laughs> ones yeah, yeah. Like yeah. Knows. i just fill it up with water <laughs> yes but yeah i would probably know where to i mean i feel like i would know yeah. All the local stores and like a nice beauty, a beauty shop and self care kind of place. I can't think of a good name right now. Fantasy but Sephora. It's Ultimate Ulta. It's called <laughs> Ultimate. Oh, uh, Ultimate. Yes. Ultimate. Ultimate. Uh, yeah. We can go to Ultimate. <laughs> they would definitely have those. We could request a list of people who've purchased it. I mean, he just got here, right? I assume. Have you guys heard of any rumors of him being around here before this murder? Oh, yeah. Didn't I get, um, I put up a wanted poster. You got a lot of people someone... saying they had saw you. Yeah. You, you did get one, though, that said that somebody saw him in the city, and you weren't sure if that was a sighting of you or of Dominus. Hmm. How long ago was that? It's like a couple of weeks ago, like a week or two. Okay. I mean, certainly we could ask for about as long as we've been back. Well, if you guys are going to go to Ultimate, then I may go to some of the ends around here and ask which ones have red velvet curtains. Miles, maybe we should get your hair dyed so then we could tell you apart. <laughs> That's true. What? <laughs> oh, where a... Just like some highlights just to make you look even more glorious. Oh. I want to get spike tips. <laughs> yes. <laughs> oh my God. Frosted tips. Frosted oh tips. God, yeah. What? I feel like he would... That's what he would go for. Totally. Wow. <laughs> so good. In your beard, too. Frosted yeah, tips in my beard. beard. Yeah. Oh my God. Or a beard dazzle. Not matching. Beard dazzle. That's um, the name of the place I'm taking you to get your dazzle. hair done. Okay, yeah, I'll beard let you. Dazzle. <laughs> you can take me to have a, a, a okay. montage. Sure. Fantasy makeover montage. So, yeah. Realize that I'll rather go to go to Ultimate and um, also to get Billy's frosted tips to just and a tan. Him. I'm gonna get and so tan, tan. Yeah. like Ross and Ray and friends. Oh tan. Really yeah. whitened teeth. Really whitened teeth. Glow in the dark. Um, really terrifying to behold. It's <laughs> <laughs> you also, just as a reminder, as you're getting the stuff done, as you're getting your tan done, you do have that mark on your chest, and also Soto's pinky. But you know, yeah, I was kind of thinking that, but it was kind of fun to. These are more obvious. Oh, people are gonna are notice obvious. that right That's away. That's true. Though. Yeah, they might not have an the ankle pinky. bracelet. Well, if I tanned the pinky, it'll be a, it'll be a darker blue. <laughs> it'll be a darker blue. <laughs> That's amazing. Um, I'll wear one. I'll get. I'll buy a glove, and then I'll cut off all the fingers except for the pinky, <laughs> so it won't affect my sword usage. Right. Make an investigation check for me when you get to ultimate after you've gotten your frosted tips and such. And Hilrana, you can um, make one as well. I got thirteen. Oh, that's not bad. 
I got a 14. Okay. You guys definitely locate in Ultimate these particular serums that he used, and you can go up to the person that's working there and ask them about it. There's a cute little gnome guy hanging out by the counter. What's his name? Jobert. 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 Hi. Hey, Jobert. How are you doing? I'm doing good. Having a good day? I'm having a great day. How about yourself? Amazing. I like uh, the the hair, man. That's a, a cool look. Thank you. Thank you. It was all her, I mean, it was all her, her idea. Ah, it's just time for, time for a change. Change. Yeah. Time you know? for a I change. like it. Did you do it yourself or you got professionally done? I got it. Yeah, over at Beer Dazzle. It looks yeah. like it was professionally done. That's what I was going to say. Like, if you did, guys did that yourselves, that's impressive. But, you yeah. know. Anyway, what can I help you with? We're looking for, uh, how long do you keep your record, your sale records of who bought what? Oh, gosh. I mean, we make a lot of sales. We are ultimate after all. That's true. Um, like, every day we, we kind of take them and log our sales and... Well, that's great. Could you... <laughs> Uh, would you be able to tell us anyone who's purchased the following serums? Uh, oh God, that like a buff. pain in the ass. <laughs> do you, do buff, you keep sorry, records yeah. of maybe who, the names? Uh, yeah. I don't know. I'll have to look. What were the names again, sir? Uh, Glotastic Buff Dumb. Uh, yeah, yep, okay. That's a pretty popular one. So that is a, a popular list. one. That is a popular one. Uh, how about Ultra Glow 5000? Whoa. This is a, a big spender. It's a big spender. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. And uh, the third one was... Uh, Extra Virgin Virgin. Extra Virgin Virgin <laughs> Olive Oil. <laughs> Extra Virgin Virgin Olive Oil. That's for the shine. It's for the shine. Oh, yeah. The, I mean, it just works everywhere. Mm, Hair. Natural. You have like a... Mm-hmm. Yeah. I can ask in the break room, see if anybody else remembers a customer who bought that stuff, but going through all the logs is going to take way too much time. He would look like me, except well, without except frosted the, tips I think or I the would beer dazzle yeah. or a tan. Show him your ID picture. Oh, yeah. Okay. Well, Here I don't go. remember seeing anybody. I would remember somebody that looked like you, but like I said, I'll go ask in the break room. Yeah. Yeah. That would be great. Okay. You hand them my ID. Show it to them. Just keep your ID. Just <laughs> okay. keep your ID with you. So, oh, sorry. You okay, okay don't you? take it, but okay, describe it. Perfect. Can you memorize this face? Maybe they can come up here. Absolutely. Memorize this. Thank you. Okay, so he's, he'll come back in a couple of minutes. Yeah, Sharon said that she saw somebody that like, looked like you uh, bought those stuff a couple days ago. Yep. Awesome. Can I talk to Sharon? Can she come out here? She's on a break right now. That's okay. I mean, for I mean, this isn't work really. She's she'll be helping solve I mean, a I, murder. I can't. What? Yeah. She, is that something she might be about into? Solving a murder. He wasn't gonna. Twenty. Ooh. Unnatural twenty. Oh, man, but Sharon does love hearing about murders. Okay. Um, Tell all her right. all about it. Yeah, we've actually got a murder mystery scry cast. Wow. <laughs> yeah. So we're working she on. She could be in it. Yeah. We're wow. just, we're hunting down some clues. I okay. think we got some really good leads. That'll convince yeah. Sharon to stop to her, her as a guest you know, first. She likes to have complete silence yeah. during her break usually. <sighs> um, I so she can sure. listen about murders on her yeah. casts. Uh, but okay, well, here she comes. <laughs> so, she might have heard of us. Murders, <laughs> murders, murders. murders. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Sharon comes out. She's a Goliath. She's got a cool shaved head, dark gray skin, lots of sweet tats, beautiful, beautiful skin. Her pores are flawless just glowing like top tier top tier skincare regimen somebody out here talking about murders yes you and know it may, i want to know also what your skincare regimen is yeah. because your skin is literally glowing oh my gosh thank you so much um i actually i'm not supposed to talk about that here because i have my own side business where i make my own serums i'm actually just working here so that i can make enough seed money to start my own business up and sell my own stuff so that means that means so much to me that you, oh, you think it, it let, works make well. sure you give me your card because oh, i love okay. supporting small businesses she glances around and there's like a, a, a like a scrying orb in the corner and she's oh, just gonna okay. like surreptitiously yeah. pass you her business card I, yeah, I can't. I'm not really supposed to talk about it. Put it um, in my bag. But yeah, yeah. Well, can you talk about murder? Absolutely. That has nothing to do with skincare. 
All or right. does it? Sometimes does it? It could. I don't know. You tell us because apparently you know all about murders from oh, your murder I mean, podcast and skincare. I don't know everything. <laughs> okay, so we have a podcast. We should really start a podcast. We have a podcast. A scrycast. Um, yeah, yeah scrycast. Scry sorry, scrycast. It's called Murder, Murder, Murders. Mm -hmm. It's I just a mess on the it's, last okay, one. So it's new. This is like our first. It's going to be great. We got uh, juicy listen, murder, though. As somebody who's starting up something, uh, yes. you, you got to start somewhere. Everyone mm -hmm. starts somewhere. Yeah. Okay, so, so tell me more. We've been keeping it on the down low because we really want to surprise everyone. Okay, so we're looking for uh, this guy. His, he goes by Dominus. He okay. looks. Yeah. Show me your ID. Yeah, oh, yeah. like I saw, I saw looks, the guy that looks just like you, except he didn't have those cool frosted tips. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Yeah, he's not, he's clearly not as cool. Not as, as cool, obviously. So... Do you happen to have any information about him, or maybe um, yeah. know his whereabouts? Does he come here often? Is he he only came here once that I remember. Maybe he came when other people were working. We have a pretty big staff, but yeah, he just bought a bunch of serums. I don't know if he's related to you or not, so I don't want to be offensive. But like, he looked—he had a scary look in his eyes. Like he just glared at me with this dead eye look, and then was like muttering to himself a little bit as he was trying to get his money out, and he just kind of threw it crumpled on the on the table. He looked like he was having some struggles. Maybe it's because his skin didn't look properly hydrated. And so he was just really anxious to get more serums. I don't know. I don't know, but I don't know where he went. Wait, does the scrying orbs, do y'all record every? Oh yeah, they record everything. Could we possibly look at that? Yeah, can we get a look the at your, who we gotta talk to? What does this to? have to do with murders? Oh, he's the prime suspect yeah. in our murder. What? Yeah, so, you like, met him. You exchanged. So you need this fluid. is top. So, okay, so I don't think oh you're God. in any danger, but you could be. You could be. That's why we so, have to stop him. Yeah. It's imperative. And here's my card. Whoa. Like you're gonna be a big help. I'd love to this. help him potentially be targeted but by a murder. If you see him again, <laughs> yeah. If you see him again, don't let him know that you're no. on to him, though. I won't. You okay. know what would really help you as a target is to get us access to the scrying orb videos. Oh god, I don't want to get fired though. Make a persuasion check. You can do it with advantage because of uh, Hilrana. It's 21. Mm -hmm. oh, okay. Yeah, if you come back when the shop's closing around 8-ish, I can probably get you what you need. Awesome. And how many, uh, where are all of your videos located? Your video surveillance scrying orbs located is there like one outside no honest it's it's inside it's monitoring the employees because they're and i guess for theft inside the store anyway well i should probably go finish my lunch and then get back to work Karan is just gonna say very loudly like oh thank you so much for recommending the serum to us you are such a great employee here like truly an asset like truly. i would never have known and, and I'm just going to like grab some okay. random serums and <laughs> okay. buy them. So you buy some serums, you got her business card, you're going to come back later for the stuff. You're looking at inns. Sigil, what are you doing? I was actually thinking I could go with Ferris. Perfect. Yay. Yay. <laughs> Making it easier on the okay. DM. So you guys go out and you're going to canvas different inns. Do you... Where do you think you would want to start? Start in the know. upper, more okay. upper tiers, yeah. because I figured they're going to have more likely to have fancy velvet drapes. Sure. Yeah. You both can make an investigation check, unless you would want to give have one person give the other person advantage. I'm fine either way. I have a feeling you may have better investigation than Ferris. I have a plus eight. The great what? detective. I will give you advantage. Yeah, I'm great detective sigil, obviously. <laughs> <laughs> Well, I still only managed to get a 15, but that's not... Um, 15 is good. There are a lot of inns, especially if you go to, like, the market area where a lot of people who are coming in and out of town or staying for a shorter period of times but have the money to pay for it. Like, there's road, like streets worth of inns. And you can scan, you can eliminate some by just... <laughs> what? <laughs> looking up. Yeah, looking up. Honestly, yeah, yeah, yeah. like, scanning the windows to see which ones have curtains. You can go in and talk to some people, and indeed, some places do have those uh, curtains that match that description. It takes you pretty much all day of walking around. With that investigation check, you 
don't end up finding any rooms that match that exact description. You're getting tired probably from walking around all day. It's a little bit hot today. None of the inns here that are, have small rooms have that level of decoration in them. And that level of fanciness, I suppose. Mm, yeah. You found some ones that have much larger rooms that have that level of right. luxury, so to speak, but it's nothing, nothing that's small, but fancy. I'm still wondering if it's somebody's guest room somewhere. I'm starting to think it is. As you are wandering around and looking through the things, um, Sigil, you remember, you recall this one street that you've been on before, that you have not checked in with Arani in a while. And oh, you need yeah. to, you had said that you were going to be her bodyguard for her right. cleaning gigs. Yes. Did you want to check in while you're in the area? Or yeah, no? I mean, unless Ferris is like, no, absolutely not. But no, uh, I would kind of like to see my partner and what's been into it lately. Yeah. Make sure she doesn't have red in. curtains up. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> no, that's true. <laughs> and she thinks that she's been hosting me lace this entire time. <laughs> oh, she would. Doesn't Ferris have a bunch of red velvet curtains in her house? Yes, she does. <laughs> oh, I remember oh. that from the last time we were there. <laughs> How could you? <laughs> okay. So you get to Ferris's apartment and Ronnie will answer the door. <gasps> Sigil! Ferris! Hi. Oh my Hi. gosh, it's so great to see you. I give her a big hug. <laughs> she How squeezes really buddy? hard for as frail as oh, she okay. is. You're great. Okay. Hey, how you doing? How's it been? Go I'm on. doing so good. I just, life is great. I'm so glad to hear that. Thank you. Yeah, how are you? I'm doing all right. Yeah, uh, we went to that party. Do you remember the party? The with the masquerade party. We you probably went told you to about a it. masquerade. Yeah, we went to a masquerade, but it was lame. Oh yeah, Melee's told me about that. Yeah, it really sucked, and somebody got killed, what? and how they framed oh. Melee's for a murder. Whoa, I didn't know how, that. Honey, how did Melee's tell you about that? Huh. Elias has been staying here, of course. Oh, hell, honey, is he here now? No, 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 no. Oh, my God, let me get on the horn. Oh, my beep, gosh. Beep, 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 beep. <laughs> What's going on? I'm so confused. I thought my best friend oh. was hanging out with me. Oh, okay, well, it oh, turns Lord. out Elias has an evil twin called Dominus. Oh, Which shit, he is... did. Oh, yeah, he did mention that. I think that might be who's been... You know, Did I was thinking he looked a little bit more buff than usual. Oh, oh Ronnie, don't let me lay see you say that, honey. Oh, is, would that be rude? I'm sorry. I won't say that. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. We I are... just thought he had a new routine. Honey, did he tell you where he was going? Oh gosh, let me think. Um, yeah, he looked really, he looked, he's, you know, he's been depressed. Well, I guess it's not Melee's actually. That actually explains so much. <laughs> wow. Oh boy. Because he's been really moody and I didn't know why he wanted to stay here, but he, I was like, he's my best friend. Of course he's allowed to stay. I will support him. I need to do that for my my bestest friend, but oh God, it wasn't me. Like, well, I guess I have a new best friend. Um, Anyway, he can't be your best friend, Arani. Well, I'll be your best friend. He's a murderer. <gasps> You'll be my best friend. Sure, I'll be your best friend. You can't be best friends with a murderer. That's too scary. I can't. Wait, yeah, let's not do that. Okay, that's probably a good idea. Anyway, so oh, but, Ferris, what were you gonna say? Sorry. But for now, let's just keep being best friends. With I'm so confused, but sure. So, <laughs> I tell you what. So for tonight. He's still your best friend. Tomorrow, <gasps> starting at 7 a.m., Sigil can be your new best friend. I can't have two best friends? Not at the same time, honey. Oh, okay. <laughs> so just pretend for like another 12 hours? Well, yeah, I guess if I can't have two best friends, then he's not my best friend, uh, Desmond is. But I get what you're saying. I get, I, oh God, I'm not a good actress, though. Oh, I'm not sure. Uh it might be better if we just kind of do a stake out here or something and send Arani somewhere safe. I don't know when he's coming back, but he did say that he had to cleanse himself of his dark urges. Oh my gosh. And so, um, which again, now that I'm thinking about it, he's a little weird. Yeah. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. Honey, it's okay. I'm gonna just hang on one second. How about I'm fine? 
Little Rana and the real Middle East Ever, we just have ourselves a little <gasps> cup of tea. I'll right. make some stew. Oh, wonderful, we wonderful. Have a stew. <laughs> okay. Beep, boop, 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 boop. I'm calling uh, Harana. This is Elrana. Elrana, honey, as it turns out, Elrani thought that she was giving me lace a place to stay. It's not me lace. Oh, my God. Can y'all come on over here on the double to my old apartment? Yes, we'll be right there. All right, me lace, we got to get over. We found Dominus. You found him? He's over with Elrani. Do I have all my stuff? What stuff? Like my sword and shield and stuff. I'm going to need that we if I'm going to face him right now. Yeah. Let's go get your gear. gear. Stop, get go get, get people's gear if they need gear. Yeah, and let's bring all of the gear. <laughs> all of the gear, just lugging it through the city. Um, you're going to need so. it. Yeah, so you bring over the gear, which is a great choice. And then everyone has oh, I'm also calling my dad. Oh, sure. Oh, hey, honey, what's up? Um, so, you know, I told you about uh, Mila's having a twin brother that's possibly the real killer. Yep, yep, yep. yep. Okay, well, we found him. He's been staying <gasps> over at Ferris's old place with Arani. Whoa, so, I don't know who Arani is, but that sounds... Oh, you, please no, be I careful. I think you met her once. Did I? In the basement. Remember that really annoying gal? Like she tried to ask you out or something. <gasps> oh, shit. Yeah, 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 yeah. I think I was actually okay. supposed to arrange a date. Oh, you owe Arani a date. So, sorry if I forgot to mention that part. Great. Um yeah. Please be careful. This guy sound is a murderer. He's deranged. Yeah, so we might need some backup. I don't know. But I just want to let you know, you know, in case I, can, I get murdered or something. I mean, I'll I'll be there in five. Okay. We'll be over. You know where her place is? Uh, no, please tell me you don't. Never mind. Who's I don't want to know. Ferris. Place? Ferris. Ferris. I don't know. I don't know where Ferris lives oh, with you, God, right? God, okay. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So you can give directions to Ferris's house and um, Greg will join you. Great. Now I have to be both Greg and Arani. Yay! <laughs> the third, 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 third date. <laughs> like we had to be Luke and Lord Bloodworth oh at the same time. Hey there, it's your DM and pal Emily here with a few quick announcements. First up, a reminder about our break that we're going to have for the rest of July and potentially into the beginning of August. We haven't selected the specific dates yet, but we have a lot of stuff going on in our personal lives like moving and vacation. So all good things, nothing to worry about. I'm releasing a book at the beginning of August. I'm super excited. It's called Space for Love. If you like alien romance, check it out. Sorry, I had to do a self-plug because that's now all I do is just tell people about my book and scream at them until they were like, please, please, dear God, stop. Yeah, so we will be having a brief break, but we will be back. Don't you worry. As always, thank you so much for listening. We love and appreciate you. You are the best listeners in the universe, and we are so grateful for your support. That's all for this week's announcements. Not very much, I know, but let's get right back to the action. All right, so you all have gathered. Um, oh, hey, honey. What's up? He's he's, <laughs> he's going to try to give you a hug, but then he's going to remember last time you weren't into it and he's going to bat. He's going to do like an awkward, like, never mind, Aww. wave thing. <gasps> Who's this? Oh, Arani, this is, I almost cry, called him Crime Daddy, but uh, this is uh, my boss and <gasps> Arana's dad, Greg the Gregarious. This is Greg? Oh, hi, Greg. Uh, hey, nice to meet you, Arani. Oh, likewise. <laughs> yeah, and Greg cannot wait to take you out on that date. Oh. But for now... We gotta focus on the mission. Oh, you're right. You're right. Yes, of course. I bet it would really impress Greg too. If oh, you, you know, yeah. Um, just keep it serious. I'm. I let's let's have business before pleasure. Anyway, I'm just gonna hang out back here with this raccoon by the by the stew. Oh, it's Desmond. He's super cool. I'll keep an eye out. I Watch actually want to talk to Desmond too. Thanks. He gives you like a finger gun and a wink. So I'm going to wink back at him. Wink. Wink. You say wink when you do it. Yeah, I do. Yeah, of course. <laughs> um, so, Ronnie, you said that Dominus Patatus had to go get out his dark urges. Dark urges. Yeah, that's pretty much what he said. He says, I need to cleanse myself of my dark urges. They're overtaking me once more. Um. So 
did he say where you go to cleanse dark urges? I don't know. See, I'm going to make an insight check on him okay. retroactively. Oh, that's really good. Man, I really should have realized that it, was me- it wasn't me. It was Um it's just sometimes when your friends are having a hard time, you I didn't want to judge you, Miles. I wanted to be a supportive friend, and I didn't know that it was Thomas. I'm sorry. I just feel like a rule of thumb should be if someone's talking about dark urges, to maybe not support them through oh, that. Oh, but I thought, we I mean, we've all been there, right? Yeah. Right? Mm-hmm. Right. Uh, <laughs> yes, honey. Miles but is don't looking. feel bad. I didn't write. I didn't Remember, I had rev of curtains in my guest room, so. Yeah, I think it was like of a sexual nature. Oh, yes. Oh, oh. <laughs> <laughs> the house of heavenly delights. It's so weird, though, if he says that those are his dark urges. <laughs> That's. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> I'm because I got choked on my own spit. <laughs> yes. <laughs> <laughs> Ferris got really excited when she heard that the dark urges were sexual in nature. Oh, well, of course. That would definitely all be like, oh my God, I like if you've been drinking water, you would have spit it out yeah, just so you could say something immediately. Like, <laughs> I mean, I'm, I bet you that sounds like a good, a good guess if that's where people go to have sex. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, Fallon and give you half of the memberships that y'all won at the crab race thing we did. Crab, absolutely, he did. Crab, absolutely, <laughs> he did. Well, perhaps one of us or more. She's gonna look around the room, smiling. Should go to the house of heavenly delights. Oh, I will go. I mean, I'm definitely not gonna go. That'd be super weird. I mean, I have a membership. A lifetime membership. Oh God, I should not be talking about this We've with my child. Done. I'm gonna go stand at watch outside. We, we use your membership all the time, Dad. So. Oh, I really didn't want to know that. I mean, I know you are an adult with your own needs, and so am I. But I just don't. I don't want it. I let. I'm gonna go outside. Bye, Greg. <laughs> oh, okay. I'll you keep later. an eye out for this guy. Okay. I'll stake this place out if you guys are leaving. Uh, cool. Perfect. Cool. Sounds great. Thanks so much, Greg. So, Greg, I mean, saying, I mean, sir. I mean, Daddy. <laughs> No Sir problem. Daddy. <laughs> Sir Daddy. Is Greg staying here with Ronnie then? Oh, I mean, I I, I, I wanted to go to the... <laughs> let's, let, let's let them have sex place. Alone yeah. <laughs> or no, wait. Oh, wait, which is better? A sex place or hanging out with Greg? Oh, honey, either way. <laughs> can I talk Sorry. to Desmond before we go? Yes, absolutely, you can. All right, I'm going to cast Speak with Aminals. Hey, uh, Desmond. Oh, hey. What's Anything up? weird been going on around here with that other Milice guy? That guy is fucked up. What What have you noticed? He's just like spends hours in his room writing and like he kept muttering to himself about needing to cleanse and like, Milice does that sometimes too. Yeah, I just, it was really weird. Um, really weird. Weirder than Arani. Mm. Oh, Jesus. Hey, can I, can you show me his room? Yeah, sure. Hey. Very easily find the notebook. You find the serums. And in the notebook, you cannot read Celestial, I don't think. Maybe you can. Uh, no. Okay. Can't Melee's read Celestial? Yeah, you I can. can. Okay. Yeah. I'm going to steal this notebook. If you have Melee's help you translate it, it's a lot of gibberish, but then things that stand out to you the most are talking about visions from his goddess, his goddess compelling him to cleanse. You do actually find references to... Ferris multiple times in the book and about like it's very broken but he has the name Ferris written in there a bunch of times and then like talking about cleansing and needing to purify himself and then other things about routing out corruption in the city and serving Sirith. I'm reading this Yeah, I will point it out uh, it's Ferris, Ferris it has your she's... name in it. What? Yeah, he's written about you. I mean, I'm really honestly, personally not surprised that you're mentioned in a book about cleansing dark urges. Whoa. <laughs> well, that's fair. I feel like that's kind of your thing. Right? It that's is very specific. <gasps> I think 
think I, I, Ferris seems like a very good person to me. She's letting me stay in her house. Okay, oh, Arani, sugar. we've already figured out that you're not a great judge of character. Whoa! Excuse me, you're talking about my best friend Nahir. I thought Sigil was your best friend. Which one's your best friend? <laughs> yeah. Oh, shit, you're not all around to be my best friend. Um, my very good friend. Ferris, don't say that I'm a bad judge of character when I say that she's a good person. Thank you, honey. No, I was saying that you weren't a good judge of people for, for oh. the patatas. Oh, okay. Because I, you know, when people hurt the people that I love. Uh-huh. <laughs> <laughs> she just got her, her eyes go dark. Can I see the journal and see where my name was mentioned? Yeah, I'll point it out because I'll point out. Uh-huh. Okay. This is this says corruption from e- evil. Not this right. is wanting to be cleansed, and this yeah. is your name. That and this is, is your name, name again and again. <laughs> and, and then right here, you came to my apartment. Yeah, but honey, I swear I don't know anything about this. This is very frightening. I wish I had zone of truth right now. Yeah, I have insight zone of check truth. Ass. Yeah, you could insight definitely check, check her ass. Ferris. <laughs> <laughs> insight check her ass. It's no, good thirteen. Ass. You can roll either persuasion or um, deception, but don't tell us. 16. Okay, so yeah, you can't get a good read. You are always suspicious of Ferris, so that makes sense. I have Zone of Truth. Oh, you do? I do. You can do Zone of Truth. Me and Chadley are just going to exchange a look. Like, "Hmm." All right. Yeah, maybe we should. I just want to be open. I'm going to cast Zone of Truth because I think there's a lot of stuff going on here. And we all need to be able to trust each other through this. Friendship trust exercise. I love it. Great. <laughs> I cast it. Cool. Uh, is anyone resisting? Now why? Why would I bother? Ooh, I think Chadley would resist it. Chadley definitely failed. Zone of truth. We're in the friendship circle now. Yes. <laughs> or a friendship circle, if that's... I don't know. Ronnie's growing on me, which makes me <laughs> worry about my own I self. know. Ronnie's not growing on me, Lays. And, and me, Lays is growing on me. This is a zone of truth now. I'm getting. This is wait. You didn't like me. I was neutral about you before, but I feel wow. like we've really bonded in the past couple hours. I mean, we did do that makeover, and that yeah, does bond me to a person does, pretty yeah. tightly. <laughs> anyway, anyway, <laughs> back to the subject. Ferris, do you yes. know why you'd be mentioned in this notebook? I truly have no idea, and I don't know why that person would feel comfortable coming to my home looking for a place to stay genuinely truly have no idea well ronnie it's very upsetting well Miles has the ability to cry what if dominus patatus can also cry <laughs> on Miles and has been spying on him and knows about his connections with you oh my word wow you're getting really good at this detective thing i I think I might. Sigil, you should like be a, a detective. A, yeah, I think uh, I should be. I thought you were a detective. I thought I, you I were. Really am. Oh. Now, Arani, oh. what yes. made you. So you had inklings. Yeah, I did. So why did you still trust him? He, you said he didn't look like me. I. He, um, he looked. He looked different. Um. Oh, In a bad I, way. I'm not. No, I'm. Oh. <laughs> I, I, they told me I'm not supposed to. I'm not supposed to say what I noticed about him. So tell us, Arani. Honey, who? But who you, said- you guys told me not to say anything about it. Not to mention it. We're in the friendship circle. But now. you let you dunk so confused. I don't want to hurt Melee's feelings. Arani. Oh, oh, honey. Maybe Milis. just whisper honey. it to Detective Sigil. Yeah. Over here. Okay. Um. He he looked. Wow. muscular yeah yeah um so what arani's trying to say is that uh she thought maybe you'd changed your workout routine yeah. or something just a different not just not better little, or like worse the just different was different you know just a little bit different body wise in the muscle zone i think you have incredible muscles Miles. thank you and I don't, I hope that I haven't jeopardized our friendship because I really thought that I was trying, I was being like a really good friend to you during a dark time. <gasps> no, hey. it's fine. He has bigger muscles than me. Okay. Now we all know. <laughs> yeah. But we you, all know. <gasps> Mila. I'm so sorry, Mila. You have a bigger heart though. Well, who cares? <laughs> <laughs> no one can see that. <laughs> nice. Hey, Arani. Just wondering, did you kill your husband? <laughs> 
No. Oh, okay. Yeah, he died. He ran away, and then he died. Ran away with Ferline. Mm-hmm. Ferline. Why did you think I killed him? No, I was just wondering. I uh, thought, that's a lie. Know, since we're in the zone of truth, <laughs> we definitely thought you'd killed him. Oh. Yeah, I mean, it was a little bit like you kind of have slight murder vibes sometimes, but yeah. you know who doesn't? In we just met you in a good, good way. way. In a good we way. just met you. We had no idea. I, I, yeah. Just so a truth in here. Mm-hmm. Friendship circle. Friendship circle. Friendship circle. I'm so glad that we talked about this. this Me is good. too. Let's get it all Clearing out there, guys. The is there anything else we need to clear between all of us in this beautiful moment? Yeah, Chadley. Scrap. Remember the talk we had a while ago about something you saw in Ferris's room? Whoa. What did you see in Ferris's room? You, you never told me what you saw. Yes, yeah, squirrel. What did you see? Squirrel. <laughs> Damn it. I wish I spoke squirrel. <laughs> Could you say that in celestial? <laughs> Thanks. <clears throat> What's he saying? Make a uh, insight check for Chadley, my friend. Uh, 23. From Chadley's squirrel barks and pantomiming, you can get the essence of that he uh, saw a man in in Ferris's room that well, kind of just unusual. like disappeared. <laughs> Still not unusual. But like disappeared before his eyes kind of thing. A magic man. Yeah, a magic man. <laughs> magic man. <laughs> I just, I'm not trying to get into your secret life, Ferris, but I got va- bad vibes from what Chadley had told me, and I just want to make sure that you're okay. And I don't know if if it's something that we need to know about. Who is this magic man in your room? Oh, that's my patron. I don't have um, natural magical talents. I actually have a patron, and he is um, an interesting fella. Is he hot? Well, technically, yes. We have sort of an (laughs) adversarial relationship, so sometimes he appears more attractive to me than others. Mostly, he's the most attractive when his mouth is shut, if you want to be honest, but that's my patron. He's He's an interesting fella. He's not hurting you or doing anything untoward, is he? He hasn't done anything to me that I didn't want him to do. We'll say that. But I don't think he's a threat to anyone. But I'm sure, Chadley, that it probably was upsetting to just see a person disappear out of the clear blue. What's his name? Alphonse. Ooh, that's a cool name. <laughs> Or Ronnie. <laughs> well, uh, uh, Ronnie's a cool name too, honey. <gasps> Thank you. Do you think Alphonse could be the reason that your name's written in this book? Oh my God. I don't know, but I can ask. I can't imagine why. If he knew that, that Dominus was dangerous, why in the world would he send him here? I- I'll find out. Could he be Zone of Truth? Oh, I don't know, honey. I think it might make him angry. Oh, I don't want to make him. Does he get angry, angry often? Do we need to worry about him? We we'll probably need to be a little concerned, but not not uh maybe sort of a low level anxiety rather than outright fear. That's what I live with. <laughs> that sounds mm. horrible. Well, you know, you make your deals and you take what you get. Wow. Hugs. Wow. <laughs> wow. Oh gosh. That sounds really intense. Hmm. So we're going into the house. Can I do an insight check on Ferris to see if I guess if she really feels okay with the whole situation. Oh yeah, absolutely us. you can. I probably won't get anything because I'm horrible at insight. Well, the, like, she couldn't have said anything that was not factual to some extent, yeah. because she still isn't. Oh, yeah, that's true. true. It would be, it would be like you trying to read between the lines, kind <laughs> yeah. of. Yeah. yeah. didn't try to resist. Them. I didn't try to resist. No. Okay. Uh, I got a 12. Seemed, you Seems know, okay. like you can't really figure out that there was subtext to what she was saying. Can I zone a truth, Chadley, and ask him, who are you? Oh. <gasps> 
Just kind of insight check. <laughs> yeah, sure. that, so is that squawk sincere? Well, he he, he did fail his yeah, save. So he's in the zone of truth. He can't lie. Twenty-two. Ooh. He yeah. can't lie, but he can obscure the truth. Chadley yes. absolutely is like, bitch, I'm Chadley. Bitch, <laughs> <laughs> I'm Chadley. Who am I? Like, is your memory going again? <laughs> kind of look. Oh, no. And it'll go up and paw your face like, it's me, Chadley. <laughs> Patronize me, Chadley. <laughs> <laughs> Slap his paw away. No. Hey, do we have anything we want to ask Greg? Greg's still in here. Yeah, me? or Sigil. Oh, Greg he was, was outside. He was outside. Was outside. I don't think yeah. that he's in the, um, the zone. So For have- legal purposes, I do not <laughs> enter into his own. Of truth. I don't so his lawyers Greg. have advised him. Technical question: When Zone of Truth is cast, is it only the caster who can tell if somebody's lying? Or yeah, okay. Oh, well, you just can't, you can't lie. You can't you lie. Just can't lie. You could refuse to answer a yeah, question. Yeah, you don't have to but answer. You can't anything. utter a falsehood when you're in the Zone of Truth. Well, Ferris would like to ask Sigil a question. Ooh. Oh, hi. Uh, what happened to you right before you lost your memories? Oh, uh, well, see. I didn't lose my memories. Oh, that's right. You just went dormant. Yeah, I was in a vision. What was the vision? Um, well, I went to an ancient ruin and I think I might have activated something magical. Whoa. And I <laughs> was in I was in a vision for I if I had to guess how long I was in there, it was maybe like two, three weeks. That's what, what I thought was going on, but like, then I got back. And honestly, as far as like how much I've aged, only about two or three weeks, I don't really notice anything. Certainly not 10 years of aging. You know, you think you would notice I'm a human, right? Are you? Oh, oh yeah, yeah, I'm a human. Oh, okay. What kind of ancient place were you at? It was a temple. A temple to who? Oh, uh, so it was, uh, you, you know, a, a goddess. Yeah, which one? And, well, she's not really a goddess anymore. She's Is it clear? Oh. Yeah, 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 it was clear. <laughs> and Ferris for her. Right. Rest me on her show. Chadley Rick's issue. We haven't seen all of y'all's, like, because you've funny, been, though. like, topless yeah. before yeah. in front oh, of me. Yeah, I'm like, have. do it anyway, though. We just like to dramatically rip our shirts <laughs> off. Wow. It's a thing. Wow. 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 Always appreciated. <laughs> Always appreciated. Uh, yeah, I, I, I did notice that before, but I, you know, I wasn't sure how you guys felt about that entire experience. So I didn't want to bring up a sore subject. Well, honey, maybe we should sit you down and tell you our story so far. Lorana sits him down and tells him the entire story an well, hour later. Like, <laughs> do we want to do that now or do we want to go and try and find this? Oh, I guess we, yes. Let's go to the House of Heavenly Delights. No, it's been an hour. I told him everything. All right. You head over to the House of Heavenly Delights. And Greg is staying at the place. Arani's going to stay there, too. And I guess their plan is that if he does come back and you guys don't intercept him, that they'll pretend that they're on their date. And that's why Greg's there. Ah, yes. House of Heavenly Delights. You are greeted at the front gate. Well, hello there. Welcome to the House of Heavenly Delights. Do you have a membership? Of course I do. Uh, (laughs) What's your name? Uh, Melee's Glorious, or sh- do I say I? I Melee's Glorious is Orthaladin. Which one? <laughs> guess Thaladin. Don't you have the membership too? I thought you got like two memberships, and he gave one to you, so, so she guess go together. Yeah. So your Melee's Glorious is okay. So I would be under my name. Okay. I say that confidently. Wonderful. Yes, <laughs> that sounds like your name. Wonderful. Um, the rest of you. Oh, we're under the tab of uh, Greg the Gregarious. Oh. Uh. I, you know, we've actually been meaning to get in touch with Greg. About his extended warranty. Uh, yeah. Uh, <laughs> he uh, looks like here. He looks through his, or she looks through her notebook. Um, looks like. Hmm. 
I, you might want to talk to Greg. It seems like he hasn't paid his membership dues Ooh. in a while. He was in jail for a while, so. Oh, that could be it. Yeah. Unfortunately, I can't let you in through his name, though, because he does have some um, outstanding fees. Oh, how much can I are have his a couple fees? of them as a guest? You can have one person as a guest, sure. And none of you are Thaladin? I'm Thaladin Frostmane. Bane. I forgot my name for a moment. I'm so no. excited. I did it too. It's okay. Let's We're, uh, make a persuasion check. Or deception check. Okay. Oh, Thaladin. You're so silly. Deception, you said? <laughs> deception? Deception. I never. That is a 24. Yeah. Uh, well, not, pleasure to see you, Thaladin. And so I so assume this is your guest. Yes, this is my guest. Uh, I will be escorting the lovely Hilrana if... Me, Lace, you would like to escort Sigil. Would you Thanks. like to be my guest? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Saladin. This all checks out. <laughs> Wonderful. <laughs> awesome. Yay. You're good at your we job. Thank you. Have a great time. You're welcome. Yeah, good. So you can go inside. <laughs> and it is as before. There's the main lounge area. And then upstairs, there was some gambling and some fortune telling. And then higher up were the boudoirs. The boudoirs. And then, of course, the sex dungeon. Oh, Ferris is going straight to the sex dungeon. You have to contract somebody's <laughs> services and then be taken to a spe- specific area does of the place work from here? the lounge. Or does she just do scry cam now? Mitzi doesn't Mitzi. work here. She just okay. comes here for fun. Yeah. Is, well, let's see if Mitzi's here. She's not. Well, uh, let's see. So there are a bunch of people hanging out in the lounge. It's getting to be around sunset, so it's getting a little bit busier. What did you locate object? Locate Ooh. object. I have a, yeah. an assumption I'm gonna make. What are you trying to locate, Melees? I'm gonna locate my dick. Locate your so dick. I think he has oh, it. Okay. Okay. Mm-hmm. Um, and it just gives you, it pings if it's in within uh, a thousand feet. Okay. I just would like, for fun, Melees, for you to make a, your spellcasting is through charisma, so just make a charisma check. 21. 21. You do not feel your penis anywhere here. What's new? But (laughs) you get just a tingle of residual. This is not how the spell works at all, but I don't care. Residual dick energy? Residual dick energy. um, (laughs) I sniff in the air. There is a half-elf woman that's hanging out by a musician that is playing on a stage, and she's currently talking to a drow uh, man. Just hanging out and lounging. My penis has been here. Yeah. <laughs> I'm going to walk over to that. Yeah, person. you did say you remember. <laughs> <laughs> they will both turn to you. Oh, good evening. Wait. Yeah. Recognize <laughs> me? Well, uh, well, you're back. I am back again. Have I? And tell the- me how long it's been. How long have it, has it been since you've missed? this and uh, I'll flex um, oh god uh, she is going uh, you all can make a perception check I got a 12 got an 18 <laughs> 18 11 12 also okay 18 Miles. you see her eyes dart over to somebody that looks like they're like, like plain clothes security for this place um uh well you were here uh how did you have time to get your hair frosted Magic. Never mind. I don't need to ask questions. Um, yeah. Uh, it was like an hour. You don't. You don't remember. An hour ago. Did I say where I was going? This is just a little quiz I like to give former oh, lovers. God. Uh, <laughs> We're you, part of a guys... podcast. A, a, a scrycast. <laughs> murders. 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 The, is there a problem here? Says a half orc woman who comes up. Hey. No. There's no problem. Uh, we're part right? of the podcast Murders, <laughs> Murders, Murders and we're trying to solve a murder you I didn't I didn't murder anybody but someone who looks like me but different his evil twin you know the you know the, the yeah. deal make a persuasion check <laughs> <laughs> you know the deal evil twin of I got a yeah. six a 15 you know how it goes <laughs> She won't Evil even twi- really look at you, Miles. She's terrified of you. But when you say that, you know it takes longer to get frosted I, tips. You're this right. amazing. And a There's tan no this dark. Way. There you was had- no way he could have oh. been here an hour ago. Oh, oh, thank the gods. Sorry. Yeah, I thought it was going to go the intimidation route. But yeah, that's my evil twin brother. He has my penis too. 
he did have two penises. Um, oh, it was figures. He mm. didn't. Oh, he, it, he was here about an hour ago. Um, oh God, he's a murderer. Or God, he's a murderer. Did yes. he do something to you? He seems scared. no. I mean, he just. I he came here. He said that he wanted me because mm. I had the ability to change the way I look. And he. Oh God. She looks over at Ferris. He wanted me to be like a pink tiefling. Um, Ew. And so I, I did that, but we didn't do anything. He got really angry and I was really scared. And he started muttering about how he was unclean and how he needed to go and pray. And so I, um, uh, he left. Thank, thank the gods. I was, I was really worried he was going to, to do something, but he, he left without me having to, you know, call security. But, um, Yeah. He said he oh had to God, go I'm pray. I'm so sorry. I didn't know it was a specific person. I didn't. <gasps> I didn't look like you. I'm so. Oh God, I'm so sorry. Oh, that's all right, honey. I'm sorry for you. What I mean, he didn't. He didn't do problem? anything. I. I don't know. <laughs> I'm sorry for. You said pray. He needed to go. He, he said he needed to go pray. He needed to pray, and then he needed to. He needed to pray on things. Is um, there a temple for your goddess around here? You know that there is a shrine in the lower terrace that you visited once. There's a shrine in the lower terrace that I visited <laughs> once. <laughs> you tell that to this lady. I'm going to go there. Yeah. Because we're all going we're there. We're going there. I'm going to give them my card because I've had cards made from murders, murders, murders in the past. <laughs> hour. It was printed out at home. On our- the further you yeah. get into this, you're like, now I actually am know. making this card fast. <laughs> it's like, contact us with information. Um, okay, so you, you make, could help us solve a murder. You make your way down to the lower terrace to that shrine of Sirith, and when you arrive, you see a hooded figure kneeling. It's not even, it's not a temple. It's in an uh, outdoor courtyard with some small gardens that you remember this one guy was a priest of uh, Sirith that tended to this. And this guy's there. He has a, a like a cloak over his head, and he's kneeling in front of the goddess and just like praying my cast command oh, cast command oh Jeez, shit all my spell slips. yeah i'm gonna cast command halt on him it's a wisdom type of wisdom wisdom okay. okay i say that but i'm also moving towards him to cr- try to grapple him and- yeah i mean he will we're gonna we're gonna get into combat <laughs> as soon as you do this this is gonna pop things off um he gets a 15 damn it so he hears that and then wind blows the hood off and you see some of his hair and he stands <gasps> up and he looks over at you and you see yourself staring back at you, except it is Dominus and his skin is nowhere near as good as yours. He still looks hot though. <laughs> he still looks the pretty hot. Like yeah. He's through. like the rugged I'm like version. wondering if I should grow my hair out. <laughs> <laughs> you can see that like tears have been streaming down his face Aww. and oh, he game. has this crazed look in his eyes and he says finally you've come me lace yeah you're really hard to find i not really <laughs> but okay you were super hard to find why did you just stay enough in the talk spot? i challenge you to a duel that's Filthy, it unclean undeserving betrayer abandoner of the faithful I will destroy you and all that you stand for you sinful vile scum of the earth see this is why I'm not religious <laughs> Melee's is taken aback he's actually those words hit hard how dare you stand here before a shrine of Sirith with your profane and blasphemous ways I'm what s- I'm not pro- well what are you talking about He's going to draw his weapon. Oh, okay. <laughs> and by me. weapon, you mean... Dueling. Double dick duel. Will you be honorable He's got like this. checks, except for they've got dicks on the end. <laughs> will you have any honor in this and fight me, or will you get your filthy, disgusting friends involved? Whoa, oh, dude. It's not wrong hey. there. Oh. I can smell the taint of her on all of you. Oh, gross. I know. Wow. <laughs> uh, well, yeah, all of you, yeah. Who are we talking about again? <laughs> Whose taint? I think he's talking about my taint. Your taint? Is on all of us? When did that happen? Yeah, why are you just rubbing your taint all over everyone? <laughs> my taint is very clean. Thank you very much. You didn't seem like the kind of person that just rubbed your taint all over. Enough talking. I mean, 
I, I'm just trying to figure out what you're, you're talking just confused, about. Confused, man. Lear. Oh, oh Lear. Oh, not me. Oh, I'm so sorry. Okay, honey. <laughs> okay. that makes way more that was, sense. This is because I feel like Sarah so has like we it was she so bathes cool. a lot. Ooh, she has I so do. many. Yeah, that makes that makes more sense. And I get a lot of my bath stuff from Melee, so I was like, honey, what are you talking about? Yeah, so weird. Anyway, anyway. Lear. Yeah, <gasps> Lear. So what about Lear? I'm asking. She's been rubbing her taint on us. She did put her taint on us. She didn't ask. Yeah, that's assault. <laughs> he literally, even though he's insane, <laughs> his face falls. I didn't want okay, her taint. I want none of her taint. This is, <laughs> this is yes. pure victim blaming, and I'm not standing for it. I will not listen to another word. Either choose to fight me one on one, Melee, so we will set a time and we will battle in a. So you're just gonna fight us without listening to our side of the story? I mean, yeah, we can fight, but it seems kind of rash. Like, I know, know our I, side of the story. I know all I need to oh, know about me. If you keep interrupting me, I will stab I you through the sorry. heart. Okay, oh, he's gonna pull out oh, oh, He's gonna stab you. Oh gosh. <laughs> what is your AC? I've been stabbed better. What's your AC? Oh my, uh, 14. He runs at you because he's close enough and he pulls a, a sword from behind him and he's going to stab you and, and you are going to take. I'm going to do protection. Okay, so I have my shield. Work? How does that work? While wielding a shield and a creature you can see attacks a target within five feet, use yes. reaction to impose disadvantage on attack roll. Okay. Nice. Well, he had advantage, so I'm just going to roll again. Okay, that still definitely hits. Oh, I didn't ask for him to stab me. He did that on his own. Well, to be fair, you kept interrupting him, and he doesn't That's like no that. reason to stab someone. <laughs> this is what I'm talking about with the toxic masculinity <laughs> in Claudia right now. It's this is another toxic. thing that needs to change. The whole system's corrupt. The system is corrupt. You can't just go around <laughs> stabbing as, as you're people. bleeding out. <laughs> the system <laughs> is corrupt. Twelve, and then he's going to smite you with that. <gasps> Rude. Plus another 39 points of son of a okay, bitch. So wait, it was 16 Fuck. plus 39? Oh no, 12 plus 39. 12 plus 39. Was any of that a spell? It was a smite. I don't that, That's not a spell, I don't, know. I don't think. No, that's different. Because if it was a spell, I have counter spells. Yeah, it's a divine smite. He stabbed her and then poured his divine Bro. stuff into it. So he poured his divine stuff into it. <laughs> Um, can I do anything? Can I, am I allowed to, can I cast sleep on him? Uh, well, we'll, we'll pick this up next time. (laughs) Oh my goodness. We'll we'll roll initiative after that. Okay. Good. I'll just lay on the ground till next time. You're not dead. You're not unconscious, Well, I'm laying on the ground to be dramatic. Oh, (laughs) that's fair. That's easier for him to stab you.